Hey everyone, I'm JP and welcome to Good Talk HQ. I hope you all are enjoying your weekend and looking for great deals to beef up your library here on the Nintendo eShop. Now in today's video, we're looking at more great games that are on sale at all time low prices. We'll start with new deals at the beginning and finish with a recap of games that are still on sale from our last episode after that. To the crew, welcome back and thank you as always. We crossed 15,000 subscribers, which is incredible. Thank you all for being a part of the journey and keeping me motivated to continue working hard for the community. Much love indeed, cheers to you all, and with that said, we'll dive in. Please enjoy the video. All right, and we'll start with Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2, which is a Castlevania-inspired 2D platformer. It gives us about five to six hours of gameplay with a good bit of replay value as it does reward you for playing through a couple of times. On top of that, the second game added in two-player local co-op as well, and lets you play through a few different ways. It has a download just over 100 megabytes and the sequel offers an even better experience versus the first game and the first one was already a masterpiece in my opinion. Right now you can pick up part 2 for just $5.99, marked down 60% and matching an all time low, the deal ends on the 28th. Blossom Tales 2 is an incredible top down Zelda like adventure title. It's a single player outing just like the first one, and this time gives players an even more expansive world to explore. It has a download around 325 megabytes and should last about 10 to 15 hours before finishing up. Now the way these games tell the story is always interesting, and once again we have fun dungeons, tight controls, and enjoyable combat, and for fans of older Zelda titles, you'll recognize many of the gadgets and items that you find as well. I highly recommend this game, it's actually a steal at just $8.99. It's marked down to an all-time low, and the deal ends on the 11th. Children of Morta is an isometric action RPG with a download around 2.4 gigs. The main story should last roughly 15 to 20 hours to wrap up. Now the game centers around a family that has to come together to fight off an encroaching darkness. It lets us explore as several different family members, each with different moves and skill sets, many of which will have to be unlocked in order to use. It's definitely a tough game and it is a roguelite, so keep that in mind if you plan to pick it up. But right now it's on sale at just $5.49, marked all the way down to an all-time low, and the deal ends on the 10th. You can pick up the complete edition with all of the DLC included for just $7.99. Koromon is a top-down adventure title that plays a lot like older Pokemon games. It features a main story that should take more than 30 hours to wrap up and has a download around 650 megabytes. On top of that, the game even offers online multiplayer for two people as well. It features turn-based combat, a massive world to explore, gorgeous pixel art graphics, and really does give players the ability to play their own way with a ton of customization options, and overall it's just a ton of content on offer. Whether or not you're a fan of the genre, this is definitely a game worth checking out. Right now it's on sale for just $9.99, marked down 50%, and the deal ends on the 11th. Up next we have Eldoran, which is a single player 2D action platformer with heavy RPG mechanics added in as well. It comes to us from Graffiti Games and offers an incredibly tough challenge as many of even the most basic enemies can be deadly and it will require a bit of grinding to level up, at least at the start of the game. Now you do have a wide variety of weapons that you can use and there is plenty of enemy variation and set changes to keep things feeling fresh, but again I have to stress that the game is pretty tough at least at the start. If you're up for it though, it's currently on sale for just $9.99, marked down to half price and the deal ends on the 2nd of next month. Garlic is a single player action platformer with a small download at just 235 megabytes. It offers more than 10 hours of gameplay. They do a great job of mixing it up as you play too. In addition to the standard 2D platforming, they have a ton of mini games and changes of perspective. On top of that, the movement feels amazing with tons of mobility and tight controls. The boss battles are a lot of fun as well, and while the game can be pretty difficult, they do give you a ton of checkpoints to help out a bit. Right now you can pick it up for just $7.49, again marked down to half price, and the deal ends on the 28th. Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch is a single player RPG with a main story that could last more than 60 hours. The game has great writing and storytelling, it's a must buy for fans of the genre, at least in my opinion. 
We play as a young boy named Oliver as he embarks on a quest to save his mother. The art and animation and soundtrack are top tier. The gameplay and combat are a lot of fun. Plus, when you finish this one, you can move on to the sequel to continue the story. Right now, it's on sale for just $9.99, marked down 80% to an all-time low. The deal ends on the 25th, and you'll need a little under 6 gigs for the install. Pumpkin Jack is a single-player 3D action platformer that will take roughly 6-7 to seven hours to finish up. In this one, we play as Jack, and we've been contracted by the devil to do his bidding. The game is fairly linear, but there are a few different level types to keep it fresh along the way. One really cool mechanic here were the areas where you would just use Jack's head and then have to solve a puzzle or open a door or pathway while leaving his body behind. The story is fully voice acted to add a level of immersion, and if you enjoy these types of adventure games, make sure to grab this one up before the deal ends on the 29th. It's marked down 75% to an all-time low at just $7.49. Up next we have Rebel Transmute, which is a 2D metroidvania for one player here on the console. It's brand new to us here on the Switch, and the download is just over 600 megabytes. Now the story has us working our way through a huge world on a mission to rescue our mother. There are tons of cool enemies and bosses to battle with, plus as you play through you'll find different items or upgrades that you can use to kind of change the entire game up based on how you fit your character with different augments. This one should offer roughly 10 to 15 hours of gameplay, and right now you can pick it up with a 10% discount, marked down to just $17.99, and the deal ends on the 4th of next month. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse is a single-player action platformer from way forward. It has a roughly 10-hour story, and the download comes in at about 500 megabytes. Now this one sees Shantae having to team up with her nemesis after losing her magical powers, the weapons and items that you get to use instead are still awesome though, and as we progress through the story, hopefully she can regain her magic at the same time. Once again, the graphics, sound, controls, and combat are all on point, and this is a great game to check out for anyone that likes a good platformer. If you're interested in Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, be sure to grab it up before the deal ends on the 26th. It's marked down to half price and matching an all-time low at just $9.99. Star Ocean First Departure R is a single-player JRPG from Square that offers more than 20 hours of gameplay. It has a download of a little over 4 gigs and follows a group of young friends searching for a cure to a mysterious disease that's spreading quickly. The combat has been updated, and of course fans of the series will enjoy visiting familiar locations or seeing names that they recognize from other entries, or of course if you played the original. Now it does work as a standalone story so you don't have to have played the rest of them and that's always great for someone trying to jump in and not having to worry about where to start. It's another big RPG that's on sale this weekend and right now you can pick it up for just $8.39, mark down 60% and the deal ends on the 26th. Koa and the Five Pirates of Mara is a fun platform adventure game here on the Switch. It offers about 3-5 to five hours of gameplay and comes in with a download around 1.5 gigs. Now in this one we follow a young girl named Koa as she explores the different islands around her home, solving puzzles and working to defeat the different pirates. It has a simple control scheme and it's great for both newcomers as well as those a bit more experienced. Each stage is full of secrets and collectibles and so there is a little bit of replay value as well. On top of that they switch up the way the levels play out quite a bit so it does stay feeling fresh throughout. Right now you can grab it up for just $11.99, marked down to an all time low with the deal ending on the 1st. Oceanhorn 2 is a single player 3D Zelda like adventure game and this one has a story that will last more than 20 hours to wrap up. The sequel is a bigger game for sure and features more massive boss fights as well as dozens of quests and side missions to complete. The combat is pretty simplistic but will feel familiar. There are also gadgets and environmental puzzles. It's another great Zelda like here on the console and right now it's on sale for just $14.99 marked down to half price and matching an all-time low with the deal ending on the 4th. The download is just under 4 gigs. Shotgun King The Final Checkmate is a unique single-player roguelike based on the classic game chess. It has a download around 100 megabytes and offers a ton of replay value. We play as the king and sadly our team has abandoned us, leaving us to take out the enemy all by ourselves. Now there are a few different game modes and a wide variety of difficulty settings, and of course you'll get to upgrade your king after each level, 
It's a really cool indie game, and right now you can pick it up for just $874, marked down 30% to an all-time low. The deal ends on the 5th of April. Spider Heck is a competitive arcade-style brawler that offers both local and online options for up to four players. You control little spiders and have to battle to the death in randomized stages. There are a few different game modes, all of which are a blast if you have someone to play with. All of the stages are littered with hazards and weapons for you to unleash on your enemies, and it's an example of how fun gameplay can sometimes be enough to make a game worth picking up. Right now it's on sale for just $8.99, marked down to an all-time low. The deal ends on the 28th and you need a little over 1 gig for the install. And here is a recap of games that are still on sale from our last episode. All of the games are at an all-time low as I mentioned at the start of this video. If you've already seen them, you can go ahead and skip to the end. If this is your first time here, please enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, and we'll start with ActRaiser Renaissance, which is a nostalgic revival of a 90s classic. The game seamlessly blends 2D platforming action and city building simulation, pitting good against evil. The game features all new graphics while maintaining an iconic soundtrack. You get to play as the Lord of Light and their loyal angel to help humanity thrive in a world under siege by evil forces. The gameplay itself has been expanded and there are additional stages and challenging bosses. You'll have to master realm acts with new magic and dodging abilities while managing settlements strategically. The game has been expanded incredibly with more content than the original, and right now it's on sale for just $14.99, marked down to half price with the deal ending on the 29th. You'll need about 3.5 gigs for the download. The Turn Noctis is a 2D action platformer that gives us more than 30 hours of gameplay. The download is just under 2.5 gigs, and it features a gorgeous art style with an all original soundtrack, and the cutscenes are fully voice acted which helps bring you into the incredible story. In this one, we play as the King of Darkness, and we spend our time working through the story, trying to reclaim lost abilities, which we'll need to fight for the Throne of Eterna. Right now, you can pick this one up for just $11.99, marked down to an all-time low, and the deal ends on the 25th. Blasphemous 2 is a 2D Metroidvania for one player here on the console. It's the follow-up to one of my favorite indie games on the Switch, and with Part 2 you can expect at least 15 hours of gameplay, maybe even more. The story is once again incredible and the art and animations are top tier, as is the sound design. On top of that, the outstanding combat returns only more fleshed out. Overall, it's a great continuation of the franchise, and right now you can pick it up for just $17.99, mark down 40% to a brand new low, and the deal ends on the 31st. You'll need a little over 2 gigs for the install, and there is a 2 game bundle available as well for about $30. The Bug Butcher is an arcade style shooter with local co op for 2 players. It has a small download, just over 200 megabytes, and this is one of the better games in the genre, in my opinion. You're fighting off a swarm of nasty bug like aliens, and you have to do everything you can to stay alive while trying to keep the scientist safe as he works in the background. Now the game can be pretty challenging, and what makes it even more tough is that you can only shoot up in the air, so you have to position yourself under your enemies at all times while trying to avoid taking damage. It's an absolute blast with two players, and right now you can pick it up for just $1.99, marked down to an all-time low, and the deal ends on the 30th. Contra Operation Galuga is a new run-and-gun action platformer and a return to form for the franchise, it features four-player local co-op and promises to bring the original game back to life with an all-new reimagined version here on modern consoles. The game is incredibly difficult, as you might have guessed, but they do give you the option to have a health bar rather than instant kills. That could help out some, plus there are difficulty settings as well. You can switch between two weapon types and they can be upgraded, plus the game offers perks and new characters that you can unlock with currency that you'll earn in-game. If you're a fan of the genre or the original, definitely consider picking this one up before the deal ends on the 26th. It's marked down 10% to just $35.99. You can expect a good bit of replay value as well with the pickup. The Dying Light and Call of Juarez bundle is a package of two great first-person games here on the Switch. Dying Light The Definitive Edition is a massive story-driven zombie survival game with fun combat and a parkour style of exploration. You'll get all of the DLC and bonus content included, and you can play with up to four friends online as well. In addition though, you also get Call of Juarez the Gunslinger Edition, 
which is a Wild West themed first person shooter. Plenty of familiar faces make an appearance in the game and again this one is a lot of fun with tons of content. Both games have a fully fleshed out story with voice acting and memorable moments. Right now you can pick the bundle up at an all time low. Mark down more than 80% to just 1079. You need about 19 gigs for the install and the deal ends on the 26th. Evil Tonight is a retro themed survival horror game from DYA Games. They always do a great job here on the Switch and this game is no exception. It plays a lot like classic Resident Evil games with puzzles and inventory management, plus ammo is limited as well, so you'll have to use it wisely. Now keep in mind there's no map and they really don't hold your hand very much either, so if you played other games like this one in the past, you'll likely get through a little faster versus somebody that's brand new to the genre. It offers between 5 and 8 hours of gameplay roughly and has a download under 200 megabytes. Right now it's on sale at an all time low marked down to just $11.99. The deal ends on the 4th of next month. Next we have Freedom Planet 2 which is a single player 2D action platformer that gives us more than 10 hours of gameplay and once again follows our three main characters from the first game while adding in one new playable character into the mix. The combat has been improved, they all have their own unique skills and abilities, the game spans across more than 20 different stages and they have three different game modes as well so there's a ton of replay value. On top of that they have game modifiers that you can equip if you find the game a bit too difficult by default. Now this one doesn't release until the 4th of next month but it is on sale right now with a discount if you pre-order. It's marked down 10% and you can pick it up for just $22.49 with the sale ending on the 11th. You'll need a little over 1 gig for the install. Gal Guardians Demon Purge is a Castlevania inspired 2D metroidvania that offers 2 player local co-op and gives us about 10 hours of gameplay. The download is just under 900 megabytes and the game follows two sisters who find themselves transported to a demonic castle. Now you can switch between the two characters at any time, unless of course you're playing with someone else, and you can even revive each other if one of you happens to die. The art design and soundtrack are amazing and the combat is incredible. This is definitely a game I would recommend while on sale. Right now it's marked down to just 1624, an all time low and the deal ends on the 28th. Hogwarts Legacy is a massive single player open world RPG. It takes place way before the events found in the book series and lets us fully customize our own character. We become a student of Hogwarts and as such you'll be attending classes and of course taking on quests and side missions throughout the roughly 40 hour story. The combat is definitely the highlight here and while the Switch version does lack some of the shine found on other consoles, this is still a great way to play the game on the go. Now it does have a pretty hefty download at about 14 and a half gigs, but you do get a ton of content and right now it's on sale for just $35.99, marked down to an all time low with a deal ending on the 1st of next month. Little Goody Two Shoes is a single player narrative driven adventure game set in a gorgeous hand drawn world. The game offers 10 different endings based on your decisions as you play through and should give you about 10 to 15 hours of gameplay. In this one we play as a young girl named Elise. She finds a magical pair of slippers buried in her backyard and from there the story begins. You'll have to fight off deadly foes at night while building relationships with different NPCs during the day. You'll also have to manage her sanity and hunger, explore for secrets and solve environmental puzzles along the way. It's a great game and right now it's on sale for just $15.99 marked down to an all time low with the deal ending on the 29th. The download is just under 2 gigs. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown is an incredible action platformer that released at the beginning of the year here on the console. It gives us more than 15 hours of amazing gameplay and the download comes in at about 6.5 gigs. The combat is incredible and you have so many different attacks and abilities to unleash on your enemies, plus you can equip different items to make you even more powerful. The gameplay is smooth here on the console and the care they put into every aspect of the game sets it apart from others in the genre. I love the way you can pin things on the map to remember that you'll need to come back to them later. It does become very useful as you open up more and more of the map. The game is huge and the story is top tier and right now you can grab it up for just $29.99, marked down 40% to an all time low with the deal ending on the first of the month. They do have a deluxe edition for a few dollars more. It includes a few in-game extras and a digital guidebook. 
Shinobi Non Grata is a single player 2D action platformer with pixel art graphics. The download is just over 360 megabytes and you should get roughly 4 to 6 hours of gameplay from the pickup. In this one we play as a ninja from the Shinobi clan, fighting off a rival clan and demons at the same time. You have your trusty sword with you, but you can also find secondary weapons to help out as you work your way through the levels as well. It can be a difficult game at times, so keep that in mind. Right now you can pick it up at an all-time low for just $11.99. The deal ends on the 28th. Tiny Ken is a single-player 3D adventure game with a download around 2.3 gigs. It offers about 6 to 10 hours of fun gameplay where we have to use our tiny pals to create bridges or ladders in order to solve puzzles as we work our way through an insect-infected house. It's basically a collect-a-thon at its core, and the gameplay is incredibly addictive. The soundtrack is very peaceful. Overall, it's a relaxing game with colorful visuals, and of course the tiny kin themselves have that adorable look to them. Now the game sort of sucks you in and becomes one that's really hard to put down. It controls great here on the console, and right now you can pick it up at an all-time low, marked down to just $14.99, and the deal ends on the 28th. Up next we have Wavetail, which is a single player 3D adventure game that follows a group of islanders as they fight off an encroaching corruption. The game basically has us traveling around to different areas, solving puzzles and getting into some light combat. Early on you'll befriend a shadowy creature that allows you to walk or glide around on the water. The game runs great here on the console and the controls are on point as well. There are collectibles and secrets to uncover and the game is a bit of a hidden gem in my opinion. Right now it's on sale for just $11.99, marked down to an all-time low with the deal ending on the 27th. You can expect about 5-7 to seven hours of gameplay and you need a little over 3.5 gigs for the install. Black Skylands is an interesting game. It's a mashup that combines open world exploration with top-down twin-stick shooting. The download is just under 2.5 gigs and you can expect more than 15 hours of gameplay from the pickup. In this one we play as Ava, a fierce young warrior, and it's a quest for revenge that sees us battling both on the ground and in the sky as we can also pilot our airship as we travel around the massive world. It's a really unique game and right now it's on sale for just $11.99, marked down to an all-time low, and the deal ends on the 28th. Curious Expedition 2 is a single-player strategy RPG. It has a download around 2 gigs and this one offers so much replay value it's unreal. You can play the game 15 times or more and still be finding something new. As you journey through, you'll need to manage resources and the combat is dice-based with a bit of RNG, so it can be a little frustrating at times, but the story and randomness of everything more than make up for any frustrations that you might feel while playing. It's an improvement in almost every way over the original, and right now Part 2 is on sale for just $6.99, marked down to an all-time low, and the deal ends on the 27th. Dragon Mark for Death Frontline Fighters is a 2D action RPG that lets you team up in 4-player co-op both locally and online. There are of course 4 playable characters, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. Again, it's a story of revenge, and this time we're on a path of destruction, seeking vengeance on those who destroyed our home. As you play through, you'll earn XP, which can then be used to upgrade your character's stats, which does add a bit of variety to the gameplay. And right now you can pick it up at an all-time low, marked down to just 7.49, the deal ends on the 28th and you'll need about 700 megabytes for the install. Summon Materna is a single player 2D action roguelike where we play as the King of Darkness and what sets it apart is that you keep your character's progress so any skills that you unlock will remain through death even if the world around you is changing up a bit. They have what they call the seed mechanic which alters the worlds that you'll be fighting your way through. It's a unique feature to the game and can really keep you on your toes as you learn what each one does. You have a ton of cool weapons and they can be modified with special gems too, so the combat is a blast and it looks great here on the console. And on top of that, they have a special reward system for those of you who place at the top of the online leaderboards. Right now it's on sale for just $13.99, marked down again to an all-time low. The deal ends on the 25th and you'll need about 4 gigs for the install. Worldless is a 2D metroidvania that offers about 10 hours of gameplay. The download is just under 2 gigs and it features active time-based combat that can take a little bit of getting used to, but it adds so much to the game and it's a ton of fun once you get the hang of it. The soundtrack is incredible too and while the story is somewhat limited, the gameplay again more than makes up for it. 
It runs great here on the console and stands out in the genre, which is definitely saying something these days. Right now you can pick it up for just $14.99, mark down 25% to an all-time low, and the deal ends on the 27th. All right, everyone, here are a few other great deals to check out while you're already on the eShop. The caves. The gold. signs of life. I think they're infected. I feel like something's here. I don't think we're alone. Where have I been taken? None of this makes any sense. Don't worry. One would think that almost dying twice would teach you when to quit. What can I say? Seems I'm a slow learner. My, my. You're one tough devil, ain't you, lad? thinking about anything. All right, everyone, thank you all for watching and hanging out. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe if this was your first time here, and I'll see you on the next one.